Welcome back to my channel, Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, and um, thank y'all for being here, and I want to thank the new ones, I know I've got some new ones, my subscribers are going up uh, lately, and uh, I want to thank y'all for coming, I want to thank y'all for subscribing, and the ones that are here that are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down there please, because it helps me so much. And um, go ahead and hit the bell notifications. And then whenever I post a video, you'll be the first to know. I never ever talk about that. I don't know why, but I thought today I would. So hit that subscribe button down there and hit the like button too. So um, I got um, Tuesday penny shopping and I found some goodies today. So I can't wait to show them to you. But I've got some mail so, thank you, thank you. So, let's open some mail. And, um, thank y'all for sending it. Because I love y'all. And this letter is Sandra Metza. And she is from Sheridan, Illinois. Or Sheridan, yeah, Illinois. Carol Stream, Illinois. Well, thank you, Sandra. So, let's open this. Well, it's not going to open. So let's cut it. Use my scissors. No, those are my Christmas scissors I got last week. Here's my scissors. I'm going to cut it right here. There's a little leather in there, but there's something else in here. I can feel it. There it is. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Sandra. America's Wounded Heroes. Oh, she's using a little Wounded Warrior Project uh, little notepad there. Um, isn't that cute? So, dear Miss Peggy. This necklace is a gift for you. I remember how much you liked the earrings that you wore in your video today. So, I, hugs to you and Robert. Enjoy and Happy New Year, Sandra. Oh, well, let's look in here and see. She's got it all wrapped up like a little present. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Little sparkly tissue paper if I can get into it flip it over Peggy there you go goodness look at that it matches my earrings it does what do I do with my earrings there they are right there I love these so much I keep them on this pad all the time and look at that Sandra sent me it the necklace to go with it isn't that beautiful and I already had the earrings okay well Sandra you knew that I already had these earrings that is yes I wore them in my video and I will be wearing these in my video um, I didn't put them on today but I'm surprised I didn't because I do love butterflies and that is amazing I love that that they match. Look at that. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. Man. Oh, I can't wait to wear that. That's so sweet. Miss Sandra from Sheridan. Okay. So I'm going to keep that. That's so sweet. Now, this letter is from uh, Shauna Gaddis. 
from Beaver Dam, Kentucky. Beaver Dam, Kentucky. Evansville, Indiana. So it must be on the border. You must be on the border up there by... Um, right, I would say west of Indiana. I mean west of Louisville. Because... I know that your mailing address is in Kentucky, but it's postmarked Indiana. Now, what's that purple heart? Can't believe that purple heart. <coughs> Don't you love that purple heart? Like I said, my Uncle Tom, love you, Miss Peggy. I love you too, uh, Shauna. So thank you. You've been a great big help. Whoa. Look what just fell out. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you. So I wanted to tell you that I really, really enjoy watching your channel. You are my favorite YouTube penny shopper. Well, thank you. That just means a lot because I love to go on Tuesday and... Um, show you what you can get for a penny i mean it's just out there for you to get and to keep it out of the dumpster and so i love to do that and um thank you for saying that you're my favorite youtuber i mean you're gonna swell my head <laughs> but anyway let's see you're one of the kind special ladies to take the time out of your uh to show others all of your great finds and how to penny shop well, I love uh, all your stories and laughs. Hope to find the next um, dollar penny items on me. Enjoy your day, Miss Peggy. Shauna Gaddis. Well, thank you, Shauna. And you know what? Uh, a dollar don't seem like much, but it can buy a hundred penny items. So, a hundred penny items is... Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Shauna. And then this one's from Shauna also. So there's another one of those purple hearts. Good vibes and prayers from Beaver Dam, Kentucky. You know, that just sounds cool. Beaver Dam, Kentucky. I mean, that that's kind of cool. Sounds better than just plain Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> it's got some pizzazz to it, you know. Beaver Dam, Kentucky. My friends live in Louisville up there, so I know Kentucky is beautiful. It's got those rolling hills, you know, the green rolling hills. Um, I think it's some of the best country I've ever seen. But many, many thoughts and prayers for you. Prayers continued for you and Robert, Shauna. Well, thank you, Shauna. That is so sweet. <coughs> I didn't even bring my drink in here. But anyway, um, <clears throat> let's get right to it. What I found when I went penny shopping. Now, two of these is a penny. And this other one was a quarter because I got it yesterday. I didn't get it today. So it would have been 10 cents if I had to wait it till today. But I didn't, but I didn't want to pass it up because this is a $5 solar thing. And I collect these for Robert. Robert has a collection of them and we have a little wooden china cabinet thing that I've cleaned out and he puts all of his little solar things in there. And he's got a little collection. So this one is a $5 one. So he's going to really appreciate that one. It's kind of cool, isn't it? So, you know, most of them are a dollar. This one's $5, so it's a good one. Now I found this. Chunk White Turkey. Now, um... That's the only can I've even seen in the store, and I've checked before during the holidays, and they didn't carry this the best I can tell. So I don't know. 
this says it don't expire until 2023 but I just don't know if this is from this year or from last year y'all tell me did Dollar General carry this chunk white turkey this year because this was on the top shelf at a store and I don't know if it's been up there since last year but it's the only one I found I didn't find no more and then look at this little flower and it matches my shirt so a little bouquet but guess what it is a green dot <laughs> the green dots have been a penny for a while so this was a good find I'm gonna stick it right up here in my bucket can't believe it but it's a miracle now I want to show y'all I walked right into this Dollar General and paid 10 cents for this today today I did now I forgot to show you this turkey now this I can't believe it but I paid 10 cents for it now if y'all see any of these know that they're only 10 cents they have not penny but these are the Christmas Oreos I found one I couldn't believe it's even sitting there I mean I couldn't believe it that somebody didn't buy it when it was 50 cents or when it was a quarter but now it's 10 cents and it's still sitting there it says joy right there and, and I was like well I don't know let me it's got a snowman on it I didn't know if it was excluded or not but let me show you the barcode and one of y'all told me that I don't hold the barcodes up long enough so I apologize for that and I'm gonna try to do better but yes a whole pack of Oreos for 10 cents now there's the barcode on there if you need it but um, yeah I, I just couldn't believe it I was blown away and then I found these now Robert loves the sour stuff he's a sour candy person but I found these sour patches the only ones they had but I found a lot of peppermint ones and I didn't get them because Robert and I don't really like peppermint so I didn't really want to buy it for 10 cents but if it had been a penny I would have because I could give them to the homeless and stuff but I didn't and this Sour Patch is the only one the only one that I found but then I found these six sexlets these were 10 cents now these are chocolate candies and they're real pretty look at that and these were in with the valentine stuff uh, so when i saw them so y'all make sure you check the valentine candy because i'm finding that quite a bit of this candy is in with the valentine stuff so um here's another box <sighs> so i can get it up here and i found this candy and i haven't tried this yet but it's vanilla cream and i love and it's old-fashioned vanilla cream drops by Zachary and it's still good till September of 2022 and um, here's the barcode if you need it but, uh, yeah I found a whole box of these then I got another box that's half full of these so, um, gonna do me some gum drops, cream drops, I guess. Now, this 
This is sweet and chewy candy, cherry and green apple. Now, I found these also, I saw these in mint. Now, Robert and I don't really like mint stuff, so I left those somebody else can get for 10 cents or a penny next week. If they're still there next week, I'll pay for a penny for them, but I'm not going to pay 10 cents for something I don't like if I'm going to plan on eating them. But these are, and see, they got a Christmas tree on them. It says holiday on them. So I got me a... I got me a little box of these. Now, let's get into some of this. This is on the penny list. <laughs> I found them. <laughs> I found me some. So, now these things are pickled, pickled mixed vegetables. Now, I mean, that just sounds good to me. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll show you on the receipt. But there's three of them right there. And then I found sprinkles. Now, I went ahead and paid 10 cents for these sprinkles. But I'll tell you what, these sprinkles last forever. I say forever, not forever, but there is no expiration date on them. I, I, I got the whole display two years ago. And Robert and I are running out of them. And Robert and I use these sprinkles on our ice cream at night. Because Robert and I eat. Now, the ones you're looking for is the Betty Crocker. Now, they have some that are not Betty Crocker. But the ones that are following Christmas are the Betty Crocker ones. So those are the ones you want to find. So I got two of these, but I want to tell you, these are the ones that's been in my refrigerator. Now I bought some of these when they were on the clearance aisle because Robert likes things like this. So I bought them because Robert liked them and they were on the clearance aisle. So I want to taste them for you because I want to see how pickled they are. Okay, I got a carrot. And I think that's a celery. Oh. Got one of my hair in there. You know, I can't, can't the flavor very, very, very faint like a dill pickle. Very faint. It's kind of good. I would put that on my plate. It's not hot. It's not too vinegary because I don't like vinegar too much. And it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's pickled mixed vegetables and Robert said it was very light pickled and it is as far as having a pickled flavor but yeah that's good so I say yes now let's see what the expiration date is yeah these don't expire till 2023 actually December of 2023 so it'll be the very end of 2023 so we're just tw starting 2022 so these would be good for two years now you know and then pickled stuff it'll even be good after that you know every time i get food all you have to do is google how long after the expiration date is whatever it is good for it and it'll come right up and tell you I found some things that's good for a year 
those uh, Rice Krispie treats that we got, they're good for a year after they expire. So, make sure you check it out. Now, this store, obviously, is an NCI store. And this is a fall. And the tag is in here. And it does not have a year on it. All it has is $8. I don't know if you can get that barcode in there. But it just had fall colors on it. So I scanned it because of that. And it came up a penny. So I was surprised. So um, this is Christmas and this is a holiday grow character and you put it in water and it grows I used to have some of these things years ago so you know I bought a couple of them just so Robert and I can play with them you know Robert and I are just big kids and this is a fall of 21 but it's the Christmas so um, yeah I bought us a toy I love toys now, let's see, at this store, I found these. Now, these are the thin box. The quantity is five pieces. And these are ten cents. And I love these things. And I wasn't going to take a chance of uh, these three, four, five boxes still being there next week when they penny. So I got them. I'm going to say 10 cents. It's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents for $5 worth of. So 50 cents for $5 worth. That's pretty, that's pretty good, and I do like these, so that's going to be a good treat. So y'all check, because these are not following Valentine's. Just the thick boxes, the double-layered boxes, they're following Valentine's, and they're not counting down. So, um, yeah, these were just 10 cents. So I got, yeah, 50 cents I paid. Now she charged me tax for these. Now I thought you didn't tax food, but she taxed those. So I don't know why that was taxed. Because most of the time I didn't think they taxed food. Now I guess candy's not considered food. And then I went to this store, the NCI store. And I found this. Isn't that pretty? And it is. Looks like fall. And I scanned it. And let's see where's the tag. There it is. It's a $10 artificial artistry design. $10. Now... I scanned it because it has fall colors on it. Isn't that pretty? So I got two pretty good um, artificial plants. And I love, you know how I love flowers. And I'll set my, I got a big old table back there that goes about 12 feet. And I can put the center pieces all the way down so it'll look good in there. And um, I also got this. And these are from Christmas. And this is the only one I found. But 
Robert loves Tootsie Rolls, so I was excited whenever I found that. And I was like, okay, well, not, Robert's going to like that too. But, um, yeah, so this artificial fl floral arrangement, both of these, and then the Christmas grow thing. Okay, so both the artificial plants <coughs> are on here. Ten cents. So that's a pretty good find right there. So I was tickled about that. So just look if it's fall looking, go ahead and scan it. And let's see what else. Oh I found some more sprinkles. Now like I said, Robert and I eat ice cream every night. Now, I know y'all are spread out all over the USA, and I'm in Texas, and our number one ice cream is Bluebell. Bluebell ice cream. If you hadn't had any Bluebell, you need to try it, because I know that Bluebell is starting to spread out of Texas, and it's in Alabama and Georgia and some in Florida, maybe, but y'all check it out, man, but don't forget these sprinkles. 10 cents. Put them on your ice cream. Put them on your kids' ice cream. So that's two, four, six, seven of those that I've got for 10 cents. So that's 70 cents worth of sprinkles. Seven bottles. That, that's pretty good. You know, I'm not going to complain about 10 cents. But um, it's just, I don't think it's going to be there next week. Now, this also has some Tylenol on it because um, Robert's still having some pain. And so he's taking the Tylenol arthritis um, for his ankle and his other pain. And it's working pretty good. Um, he doesn't have the really bad pain he was having. So it is getting better. Every day it's getting better. Now, this store, I was just scrolling through the store, just looking for stuff, and I, I wasn't finding very much stuff, but I was going down the aisle where the plastic baggies are and the aluminum foil are, because I was over there kind of looking for some Christmas plates or, you know, Christmas um, paper plates. And this was sitting on the shelf with the aluminum foil. Now, and I didn't recognize it to be anything special, but it was out of place. And I was like, well, let's just check and see if it has a tag on it. So I looked at the bottom, and it did. It, it's a green dot, summer of 21, that has pennied recently. And this is a glass glass with a straw in it. And then it has the straw that won't fall out. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just a glass tumbler. But it's a green dot. And I knew when I got it, it, it was a penny. So I just set it in my basket. And I waited until I was almost to the checkout before I ever scanned it. But I wanted to make sure it hadn't reset. I don't want to embarrass myself. But um, <coughs> here's my receipt. It's got a Mountain Dew and some aspirins on there. But that glass was a penny. Definitely was a penny. And I love glasses like that. And it being glass, I'm going to use it because I don't like to drink out of plastic. And this is very pretty. Simply original is what it says on it. Live simple. So, yeah, you know, things get moved around. It's amazing what you find in other departments of the Dollar General that people move around and then they decide they don't want it and they just set it anywhere. So, you know, yeah, green dot still out there. I got the flower. It's a green dot. And um, <clears throat> then I got the glasses a green dot. So I got two green dots today. Now, let's see at this store let's see what I found at this store oh 
found another one of these. So let's see how many of that. I'm up to three bottles just today. Let me move that. And then I found this. <laughs> it's a little Christmas gingerbread. Isn't that pretty? And it's sparkly like that. It says, a uh, very sweet Christmas. So it was just 10 cents. So I went ahead and got it. I don't know why, but um, I don't need it. But I got it. And, you know. Sunny Seed Gardener. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the penny. So I got this and the little Christmas thing. For 11 cents. So. You know I went to all the stores I could. And I stayed out to almost 2 o'clock. So I was gone from 7 to 2. So. That's 6 hours I was penny shopping. Now this. Is going in Robert's collection. He hadn't seen this one yet. He saw the big one. But he hadn't seen this one. It's a little doggy. And it's. 10 cents. Now I found one of these. Now. This is almond bark. Vanilla flavored. So I guess it's. Vanilla. Almond bark, and I, I don't know, is almond bark is like white chocolate, I suppose, but it's following Christmas, so I don't really know what to do with this, but I've got several of them. Um, I only bought this one, I think. I don't know if I got one last week or not, but I don't remember. I don't think I did, but I went ahead and just bought that one, so... Um, I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with it. But here's the white chocolate and the little solar dancer. You can see one of them was 10 cents. The other one was 10 cents. So I ended up spending like six, seven dollars today out of all this stuff. So that's a good find. I mean, that's a good find. So, oh, here's another one right here. So I did buy another one. So... I bought two of them. So, you know, this, you can put these in the freezer. And this is good to August of 2023. So, um, yeah, so it's good for a year and a half. So, it definitely will be good for Christmas. So, just store these in a nice, cool place in your pantry item. It'll be good. Ooh, I got some more of these sprinkles. Oops. Didn't do that good at all, did I? Turn it like this. Boom. <laughs> Ten cents. So, you know, I didn't get any last year. But I got them the year before last. And, like I said, we eat Bluebell. I don't know what kind of ice cream y'all got, but we got the best Bluebell. Now, this store, this is one of the surprise pennies. And thank you, Cheryl, my friend Cheryl. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have known about this. So, she did. She sent me a message about these. So, I thank her for that. Now these, I was looking at these, and it's got a sell-by date of 11 of 2021. But these are vacuum-sealed, and vacuum-sealed things last longer. And um, I'm going to Google this, but I do believe that this will be good a while after the expiration date. But like I said, I Google everything. What is the expiration date of Hormel Pepperoni? 
premium deli meats. Hit enter. It will come up and it will tell you how long after the expiration date this is still good. And I got several of these at this one store. I had a box with them in there and I, I usually always tell them to give me the box. But I was sidetracked. <coughs> so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these pepperonis. And they're in the thin pack. Now they got some new pepperonis that aren't these. But look for the flat ones that are the Hormel pepperonis. Because I don't know where my receipt is, but these were a penny. And then I found one of these holiday pretzels. And those look kind of good. I'm going to try those. Now, got a couple more bags. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ghirardelli's. More of them. So that's four. Four that I got today. Ooh. Five. Six. Now, I've got a little video that I took whenever I was getting those Ghirardelli's. Now, as soon as I can get it out of my phone, I'm going to post it on the pennies, pennies, pennies that I tell y'all to follow me on. Now, follow me on this, on Facebook. And I'm going to post that video when I can get it out of my phone. But these um, Ghirardelli's were also a penny. So the pepperonis and the Ghirardelli's, all you need is some bread and you got a sandwich. So I was excited about these. So these were on the penny list. These were surprise pennies. Now, you know that peanut butter was on the list today. I didn't see no peanut butter anywhere. Now I have two of those boxes in my pantry from last time when they ran a coupon with them. And, um, let me put these in this box over here, because this Christmas item that I found, I love it. Now, I paid 10 cents for these. Okay, this is the receipt. It's got the, the uh, pepperonis on it, but look at these. Mmm. Little red trucks. Isn't that cool? And it's a Christmas. You, you know, it's got the little red square sticker. It's Christmas. And the flavor is sugared cinnamon. So I got a couple of different ones. And I think they're so cute. Ooh, now this one is sugared cinnamon. Mm, this smells like a cookie. It's a little red truck. I mean, it's a little blue truck, a green truck. So, so you know, these are good for Christmas presents. But how darling... Will that look just sitting on the kitchen cabinet burning a candle in the back? Isn't that cute? So, I got four of them all together. And, you know, these little candles are $4. And I'll pay $0.10 cents for them. So, I got uh, two red ones and two green ones. That are part of Christmas. 
I just think they're adorable. I know Robert will. And, you know, we've got that little um, birdhouse trailer that was a penny camping trailer. is a penny a few years back, a couple years back. That was the summer stuff. And um, this little green truck, I'm going to put it right in front of that little birdhouse. It's, <laughs> and it's going to look like it's pulling it. So I think this truck's going to look just the right size. So I'll probably post a picture on pennies, pennies, pennies so y'all can see that. But I got a couple more boxes. Man, this is a long video. Now, I found three more of these pretzels. Three more. Now, I love these things, man. These are good. I've already eaten in a week. It took me a week, but I ate a whole box of that pretzel by myself. Now, when I told Robert, I said, I ate a whole box of that pretzel by myself. He said, you did? I said, yeah, I ate a week. He goes, oh, a week. So these were a surprise penny, too. Thank you, Cheryl. These are ranch fries. And they were a surprise penny. Andy Caps. Now, these, I know I saw it on here somewhere. Okay, the expiration date is February 28th of 2022. So, these are still good till next month. So, ranch fries. These sound good. It sounds really good. And then I got another sprinkle. So, you can see I got, um, okay, the Christmas uh, cream drops are on here, and she rang them up like 14 at a time, and 4 at a time, and 7 at a time, so it looks like it's more than 10 cents, but that's why, it's because they are, and then I got a calendar, Robert and I needed a calendar, so I had to get one, and I finally found a Dollar General that actually had one. So, I got one more sack here, but I swear I just found so much today, I couldn't do it all in a quick video. But here's two more of the sprinkles. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen sprinkles. But, man, I'll put those in my pantry and... You know what? When you make a cake, sprinkle them on top of the cake. Sprinkle them on the side of the cake. When you make um, <coughs> a bowl of ice cream, whatever, put it on there. Put sprinkles on there. And then, Robert told me to go ahead and get some of these, so I picked up a few of these today because he said that he liked coconut. So, I open these because I really don't like coconut, but these are not that bad. Uh, they're not just like solid coconut. They have other things, too. But, anyway, those were 10 cents, and that's what I paid for these. So, I'm not going to keep y'all no more, so I'm going to let y'all go. So, you know what I say. Adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I will see y'all this weekend because you know we're going to get another penny list. And just remember that all this stuff that I just paid 10 cents for is going to be a penny next Tuesday because it goes from 10 cents to a penny. So that's an easy prediction right there that's going to happen. But I don't know how much will be left, so y'all go get you some, and I love y'all, and talk to you soon. Bye now.